So the Goodwood Festival Speed is in their own words the world's greatest celebration of motorsport and car culture and every year manufacturers bring their best cars to show them off. From the latest EVs to even fully fledged race cars take a swing at the hill climb event. This annual motor festival features modern and historic motor racing on the grounds of the Goodwood House in England. The Festival of Speed is held late June or early July and is scheduled to avoid clashing with the Formula 1 season, enabling fans to see F1 machines as well as cars and motorbikes from motor racing history on the hill climb event. Now this hill climb stands across a 1890 meter track and climbs about 92 meters. Now like I said, you can find anything here from race cars to hypercars, I mean just take a look at some of the cars that featured this year. Now since there are so many amazing cars there, setting a new record is really difficult. And that's exactly what this video is about. The track record has been broken by a British startup company called McMurty with the EV fan car. But before we get into the record and how this car set such an amazing time, let me just quickly go through the top 5 just to show you exactly how impressive this time is. Now in 5th place we have the Jaguar XJR9, this Group C sports prototype powered by a 7 litre V12 engine completed the track in 44.1 seconds and this Jaguar is known for its titles in the World Sports Car Championship. Yes, it's old but it's a monster. In 4th place you have the Gold GR51 which is a 2.8 litre cost width with a full carbon fiber construction. This completed the course in 42.9 seconds. In third place we have a literal Formula 1 car. The 1998 F1 winning McLaren MP4-13. This F1 car set a time of 41.6 seconds. Now since then F1 race cars have been banned for safety reasons but this was a properly fast F1 car in its time. In second place is the VW IDR, which is VW's fully electric race car. And then for number one is the car we are talking about today, the McMurty Spearling. So how did a tiny startup company produce a car that went up the hill faster than a Formula 1 car and even faster than VW's EV race car? Well let's get into it. So the Spearling was first revealed at the 2021 Festival of Speed and two key factors helped it set such a quick time this year. Its tiny size and the two fans that suck the McMurty to the road. This single seater measures just over 3 meters long. I mean it's so small it's 40 centimeters shorter than a Fiat 500. That small size combined with the prolific use of carbon fiber allows the Spearling to weigh just one ton. Now McMurty hasn't given a specific power output but claims about 1 horsepower for every 1 kilogram, which gives an insane power to weight ratio. Now the car is powered by two electric engines, one electric motor at each rear wheel. These two motors are fed by a 60 kilowatt hour battery. The U-shaped battery is integrated into the carbon fiber tub and McMurty says it permits between 30 and 60 minutes of flat out driving. So no endurance races will be won by this car. Anyways, like I said, its weight and power isn't the only reason for this car's success. A huge factor is the twin electric turbines sitting behind the cockpit. These two turbines work in a similar fashion to the fan on Gordon Murray's T50. The fans literally suck the car to the ground. These turbines are so strong in fact that McMurty claims that the fans can produce about 2 tons of downforce at a standstill. And the fans don't just produce downforce, they also make the EV sound less boring. Just take a listen.
It sounds like a damn jet, pretty freaking cool. Now while the Spearling is currently designed for track use only, McMurty wants to homologate it for the road. Yes, they want to make a road going version of this insane race car. Now obviously on the road going version there will need to be a few changes. McMurty say that the motors will remain the same and will be unchanged, but the aerodynamics will need to be toned down. And then for the two turbines, they will only be activated in track mode. Now if it were me, I would drive this thing in track mode 24 7. Imagine the dust cloud this thing will kick up. Anyway, so how much will one of these cost you once they've been made for road use? Well, McMurty didn't give an exact number, but they did state that it will be in a 7 figure range. So it's safe to assume, chances are you won't see one on the road. But let me know what you think of the McMurty Spearling. Do you think it will be an actual road going car in the future or do you think they should stick to race cars? Let me know down below. Now if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos just like this one on many different car topics. So if you like it I'm sure there's something else you like just go through my channel. I'll check you guys in the next one.